today's editing tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this Apple style iMessage animation all inside of first we're gonna do an After Effects and then I'm gonna show you super duper quickly drag and drop solution how I do in Premiere Pro. I'll leave all the practice footage in the link in the description for you guys for absolutely free so you can follow along with me. I literally wouldn't be doing this Apple iMessage each and every single time if it wasn't for this drag and drop solution. So make sure to stick all the way to the end to get that out. And if you guys don't know who I am really quick, this handsome ass man. <laughs> My name is Torsten Roscoe. I create short form video editing assets for content creators exactly like you. They just streamline your entire workflow so you're not stuck at your desk all day. You can actually go and create content and enjoy your life. I'll leave those down in the first link in the description so you don't miss out. And without further ado, let's Let's create this Apple iMessage effect. Okay, to get started with this Apple iMessage text animation, we need to first lay out just like the basic grounds of it and make the uh, shape. So I want you to just come into here, come into rectangle. I want you to use actually the rectangle tool, not the re rounded rectangle. I'll show you in a little bit why, what's the difference and why we don't use that. So next, I want you to come into fill and I wanna make sure that this is on linear gradient hit okay, and then make sure that the stroke is at zero. So now when we do our shape just like so, we're gonna have this rectangle. It's gonna look a little botched. That's totally fine. Now all we need to do is mess with this gradient. So the way we mess with the gradient is just click the little drop down to the rectangle, come in the gradient, and then it will pop up when you hit V, just like so. Now we can actually mess around with the gradient. So the reason why we do this gradient is because when we drag this down, it kind of gives us this kind of really cool kind of drop shadow or more of like an inner shadow effect. And it just makes this whole blue just a look a little more premium. And that's exactly what we're going for. This channel is all about making high quality premium effects. And if we can add just this one little subtle thing like we're doing right now, it just goes a long way. So the next thing we need to do is round it obviously because it's always rounded. So just come over to here in the properties tab, hit the round. Now, actually, if you use the rounded, rounded rectangle, for some reason, I don't know why, but here I'll show you. It looks like completely botched when you round the corner. Oh, I did not grab the right one. I don't know, it just, it looks botched. I don't know why mine is not showing it, but it looks botched. Okay, we want to make sure that it is rounded. So just make sure to round these caps, just crank it, and it'll look something like this. Now, when we mess with the size and everything, it doesn't get messed up. I mean, if you bring it out like this, the cones kind of get messed up. So don't try to stretch this at all. Try to keep it normal just like that. And then when you size it, obviously go like this. Okay, now we need to make that little kind of, I don't know what it's called, it's like, it what makes the iMessage look like an iMessage. It has that like little triangle thing that looks like it's, you know, being sent to you or you sent it. I don't know what it's called. It's just that little triangle thing on the bottom right. <laughs> so how we need to make that, we need to first convert it into a Bezier path. That way we can mess and you can actually see there's points now. That way we can use the pen tool to mess with it and actually reshape the layer. So now, like I said, go grab the pen tool so you can either hit P on your keyboard or come up to here and hit this. Oh, it's actually G, Never mind. Hit G and then it'll grab the pen tool. So now when you click on here, make sure that when you are hitting this, you can see this plus sign. So hit the plus sign. I'm gonna make one here. I'm gonna make one down here. And then I'm also gonna make one, I think, actually we'll just start there. I think that's how I made it. Or make one in the middle. So we're gonna make three points. Now I want you to just, dr let's drag out this first one first, just like so. Actually just make two points. First drag out this one, just like so. So we're gonna do that. And you can kind of see that we're already making that shape. I'm gonna drag it to like right here. What I want to do is just hold Alt and then we can move this. So now I'm only affecting this right here and I wanna make it just like this. I wanna make this like nice kind of like shaped layer. And then what I wanna do is I wanna make this super sharp. So I'm gonna again, hold Alt. It's gonna bring up this like kind of key that we're seeing right now. Grab this one and then I wanna make this just like so. I wanna make this super sharp. We're gonna, let's drag this one like up, like just like this. Let's make this smoother just a little bit, just like so. And bring this out a little bit. Make this sharper. Actually, I kinda like that, not gonna lie. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I do not like that. <laughs> that looks fucking bad. Oh, they actually changed it. That's funny as hell. They actually changed what it looks like. They actually changed the whole thing and what it looks like. I see you, I see you. So they actually changed what it looks like. I just literally seen that in the new Apple iMessage, but we're not gonna do that because majority of people don't even know what it looks like. That's actually pretty cool. I think that looks good. 
honestly. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah. If you want to tweak it and make it look a little better, you can, but for now, I mean, it's not the end of the world. No one's gonna be looking at it and be criticizing it because half the time you're not even gonna really see it. It's just something that's subtle there. You don't notice it like crazy, like I said, but it's now we are good to go. Now that we have our entire kind of bubble, all we have to do is add the text with the animations and we are done with doing this from scratch. Now let's add just some text. So I'm just gonna come up to the text layer, come up here, and then I'm just gonna type something like, Borston is the goat. Center, center, all of these just so we can know what we're playing with. I'm gonna make this white because obviously always your text anim or your text is always white in there. And then I'm going to resize this. Okay, so once we have this all done, all we have to do now is create that kind of like cool scale animation that pops in and then we are pretty much done. So if we want to make the scale animation properly, we have to pair this to the shape layer so then the text actually gets affected with the shape. So all we have to do is just grab this little like sticky thing and then drag it to the shape layer and then drop it. So now it should be paired to this. So now when we affect this one, so for example, if I wanna scale this or position it, it, the text moves with it. If you don't shape this, if you don't connect it, now when I grab this shape, you see the text doesn't move with it. That's why we do that. So now I'm gonna redo that. And then all we have to do is create that kind of scale in animation. So what we actually wanna do is hit S on our thing for scale and then just make a uh, keyframe by hitting the time watch. Go, I would say, I don't know, uh, a second forward. So I'm, I'm about a second forward and then make another one. But firstly, make the first scale at zero. So we need to make this at zero. And then this is also zero. And then the second one, we're gonna make it normal. So scale it up just like so. Now we have something like this. There's just one. It kinda just pops in and it does not look good. But to get it to come in from like the left, like you see on mine, what I did is I actually moved the anchor point. So you can see the anchor point is right here. I use this, this tool called Motion Tools Classic. It's completely free for you guys. I can just click this and it'll automatically put it to the bottom right. But if you don't have that, it's totally fine. I'm pretty sure if you hit Y, yeah, Y, you can go like this and then hold Shift or hold alt and then it'll automatically grab it over here so then just drag and drop it boom done now the animation will There's come just in one. just like so lastly we need to add just some really you know mess with the velocity so it actually looks actually good and not bogus like it is right now so the way we do that is highlight both of these right click we need to easy ease these first keyframe assistant easy ease then come into here the graph editor and you should see this graph right so grab this right one and i like to just crank it to the left now it comes There's in just one. really nice There's just one and boom your animation is done completely for you scratch. Now I'm sure you guys don't wanna do that every single time and that's why I actually created these drag and drop for you. So all I have to do to make this exact one, I literally use these is I just drag and drop this Apple Eye message. And in a matter of a second, I get this one. All I have to do now is come into my properties tab in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna turn these off really quick so you can see this. And then I can just retype, I don't know, let's type Torsten is, I don't know, the best, sure. Let's make it the best because obviously I am. And then we can just mess with the shape. So I can mess with the shape if I want to by just making this smaller, bigger, just like so. I'm gonna make this just smaller. And then I'm gonna reposition the text just like this. And then we'll make this over to the left a little bit more size this just like that and then now my entire animation is done for me instead of going to There's after effects one. my entire like i said all this iMessage animation was done in just a few single clicks all because i use this drag and drop mogar that you guys can find in my apple editing style pack not only do you get that but you also get all of these other ones like this one animation you see right here this gray one you get this gradient background you get this gradient one you get all of these gradients text animations this apple style this one too i mean i used all this this glass effect you get every single thing in this apple editing style i just use this pack because it makes this style so much easier and not just me but thousands of other people use this editing pack because i mean i wouldn't be doing this apple style if it wasn't for 
this pack because you just made it so easy. So I'll leave it down in the first link in the description so you guys don't miss out. And if you guys actually use the code iMessage in the first 48 hours, it hooks you up with a $10 discount. And then after that, if you use the same code, it'll use and save you $5 if you missed out on that chance. If you guys want to learn exactly actually how I edited this entire Apple editing style reel, I made a whole video on me breaking it down with you guys, actually editing it live with you guys. So you can go find that video right over here. And thanks for watching. If you could send this video to just one friend that it would help out them, I'd much appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.